Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merch Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the reasons why you shouldn't become a vault cashier, but we are. Always remember we have an ATM Mastermind Group page for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business. We also have an ATM A to Z course that teaches you from A to Z how to be successful in the ATM business. All right, so we're gonna dive right in with point number one, and this is why I don't think anybody should become a vault cashier, because all we're doing is re replacing one nine to five job with another. Now somebody's paying you anywhere from 70 to $1.25 per transaction to fill their ATMs. You're, re you're responsible for the service, you're responsible for the calls, you're responsible to put your money into it, and then you make a fee, usually 70 cents to $1.25 per transaction. That might seem great to, to a lot of you, but for the most part, you're just replacing a job, one job to another. I don't want you guys to do that. The reason you get into the ATM business is to make more money for yourself and create an entrepreneurial spirit. Get your own business, so to speak. So that's why we're doing it. Earn extra income. This is not enough extra income. But we do have, we come with five ways why it does make sense then it does make sense to become a vault cashier. And this is the top five reasons why I think it does make sense to become a vault cashier if you follow these protocols. All right, number one, credibility. So you're, the reason you're becoming a vault cashier or the, one, the reason we became a vault cashier is so we can build a portfolio in another city. We saw an opportunity, one of our friends asked us and said, hey, can you vault cash in the city? We said, let's look at it. We looked at it, transactional volume made sense. However, it was out of our normal place where we were doing business. So I thought, you know what? Here's an opportunity to create a portfolio into our city. So this is what we did. We took on the job, we became a vault cashier, and now we went to that city. So we needed credibility in that city. So the number one reason is credibility. Point number two, now you're in that city, you're talking to those store owners, talking to your customers, store owners, and you're building relationships with those customers. When you're doing that, you're asking them, hey, do you know any other new store opens up? Do you know where we can place another ATM? Do you have any friends that are opening up a bar, or convenience store, or gas station? You're building that relationship with that customer, which is actually your customer's customer. You're not stealing those accounts, but you're looking for anything new. So this is top second reason what you're gonna do, build relationships. So number three, we're gonna build a portfolio. So after you do your filling in that city, now you're gonna be looking for new places and you're already there and you're gonna be trying to add locations around this other portfolio to build your portfolio. All right, so what you're doing is, now you're gonna stop in, maybe at Joe's Convenience Store, get a drink, buy, buy, buy a Snapple or something, and you're just looking for, do they have an ATM, is their ATM down? You're gonna keep on doing this. Because you are in the area, you're gonna to try to build your portfolio around this other person's portfolio. Number four, drive time. So you're in one area, now you just picked up a vault cash route, maybe a half an hour, 40, 40 minutes. Now you're going there, you're doing the work for that person, and now you're already there. So now you can start to build that portfolio and you minimize your drive time to go into a different city because you're already there once a week or once every two weeks. And this is how you can build another part and this minimizes your drive time. Number five is you're gonna subsidize your income with, the, with becoming a vault cashier until you build your portfolio around them. You're gonna utilize the all, going to the city, building relationships, looking for new locations in that city until you build it up enough. And then at that time, if you decide, you know what, being a vault cashier for this particular person doesn't work anymore, I have my own route in that city, then you know what, then, that, then it's time to let that person go. Or you say, you know what, maybe you make them an offer and you buy their portfolio because you're already doing the work. Either way, it gives you some strength, it gives you an idea, gives you opportunity to either cut that person loose and not become a vault cashier, or buy that portfolio out, or just let it go. Either way, gives you opportunity and it puts you in a driver's seat to help further your business and not that other person's business. Always remember to like and subscribe our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below, Always, if you have a comment, please comment below. Uh, we always answer our comments, and if there's another video that you like to see, then you know what, put it in the comments below. We'll be surely to make a video about that. Always remember we have an ATM Mastermind group page that's free to join.
for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business. And you know what? I'll see you guys over at the ATM Mastermind Group page. Thank you.